Well, hello there. I'm the old growler, Pete LaFrance. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer or a bottle of beer. We see what's on the label, read it off, and crack it open and see if it meets expectations. If you're the first time here, if you enjoy this, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. For those of you who are returning, let's see what we've got today. Okay. This is, oh, oh no. Okay, I, <laughs> I reached into, I, on, my, on my latest trip to, um, to uh, the Beer Barrel, which is uh, the beer store uh, here in uh, downtown Brooklyn, I went in and I picked up uh, a, a six pack or two, and then uh, just recently I went in and picked up uh, a six pack. I figured I'd pick up a little bit, a few extra ones, uh, just to see, you know, to get a rhythm of, of beer tastings. And so there were three Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn Brewery uh, beers there, and so I reached in, picked one out. Boy, I thought that looks good. It says uh, Special Effects, name of the beer. I thought, I'll pick it out, right? Okay. Let's see if it meets expectations. This is from the, brewed by the Brooklyn Brewery in Utica, New York, okay? Uh, I remember when it was small enough to, to be here in Brooklyn, but they do have the pilot station, the pilot brewery right here, but for the larger uh, style of beers, uh, they do brew in Utica. Uh, so uh, we'll go in knowing that. Uh, so let's get on to the rest of the label. Uh, let's see. 12 fluid ounces, uh, contains, contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. <laughs> I picked out, <laughs> I, pick, <laughs> I picked out a non-alcohol hoppy beer, <laughs> uh, for which I paid $2.69. Uh, U.S. dollars. I'll translate that into pounds down below. But, <laughs> okay, let's see. What else can I tell you about this? Uh, there's not much else on here, in fact. Uh, Non-alcoholic malt beverage contains less than point, uh, 0 0.5 percent alcohol by volume. Uh, Non-tax under non-taxable under sections 50-4515 IRC. Best before date printed on bottom of. I can imagine. It's best before, this would be uh, a November 20th of 21. Well, you know something, I, don't, I really don't think it's gone, it's gone bad. And uh, it's just November, December, January, two months, I don't think so. Anyways, what are we expecting from, uh, what are we expecting from uh, Brooklyn's special effects beer. Well, it says it's a, it's, it says it's a hoppy, a hoppy brew. Let's give it that. Let's see where it is. It's a hoppy brew. Uh, that's our beer tasting glasses. Thanks to Jerry Scott. This way, all of our beers, all the ones we taste, have an equal footing when it comes to checking out uh, the color and the aromatics. Well, let's crack this uh, special effects open and See what we uh, see if it meets expectations. <laughs> I'll show you. Doesn't have them. I don't have. Well, here we go. That's a beautiful pour. Nice two head. Uh, it's not a too tightly knit head, uh, but it is. It's a, it's a rocky, but it's uh, quite white, nice bright white almost, and that's a, a copper penny color. It looks like to me, yeah, very clear. All right, well, it meets expectations. Okay, let's take the first nose dive. Ah, huh. that's remarkably like a British ale. There's malt, there's a malt, uh, a roasted grain sweetness to it, but also a very detectable. F 
flowery type. And when I say flowery, I don't I don't mean as in uh, ground flower, as in in wheat flour or uh, um, barley flour. I mean as in uh, flowers outside in a park. Kind of yeah. Well, cheers. First swig. Sweet. And yet, there is some hops on that. There, there is, there's, um, it's, it's not a bitter, uh, not bitter, it's in, uh, it's, it's a little, a sharpness to it that balances out the, the naturally, well, <laughs> because it doesn't have any alcohol in it, it's, it's sweet, so, there's a, that's not a, that would fake me out. Yes, sir, that would fake me out. If, if you didn't tell me that that was a non-alcohol beer, that would fake me out. Well, does Brooklyn Brewery's special effect um, non-alcohol hoppy brew meet expectations? <laughs> it certainly does. In fact, it exceeds them. I'm the old growler hoping all of your beers meet expectations.